Hello there, heroes. I'm the Orange Ranger, and welcome to another edition of Unmorphed. It's too friggin' early. <laughs> but we're up and we're at him. Day one of the, of the thing. Squish is here, too. Anyway. <laughs> um, it is six, about 6.30. I've been up for about an hour um, because today, as I mentioned at the end of the last vlog, we are going, where are we going, Squish? Aw, he's shy. Um, we are headed to Universal to go to a wizard Harry Potter thing place with the castle. <laughs> Uh, we're doing early resort entry, and we're going to be there at rope drop. So the bus for that leaves in about half an hour. I got some Starbucks downstairs that is unfortunately slightly disappointing. Um, got the maple butter chicken and egg sandwich. It's okay. Um, and a cafe latte, which is even more okay. Uh... And that's where we're at. So, yes, today is Hetty Pole Today. I just realized, um, Harry got me a friggin' Ravenclaw shirt. And I didn't pack it. I, yeah, you remembered yours. Friggin' Hufflepuff. <laughs> um, we're all supposed to wear Harry Potter shirts today while we're at Harry Potter Place. Um... About a million years ago, I remember, and by a million years ago, I mean like last year, uh, Harry got me a Ravenclaw shirt. Um, for some reason, I didn't think to bring it with me. I think because it's like buried in my black shirt drawer. Oh well, I'll have to procure myself another. I have to be smart about it, I'm a Ravenclaw, I gotta do that. Um, yep, yeah. so uh, that will be our day today, Hedy Polta. And, um, I'm gonna finish this coffee and the sandwich and we're gonna get to it. Let me rise in. Welcome to Universal Orlando Resort. So, why Hufflepuff? Tell me. Give me, give me a short explanation. The hat said so. You know, that's, that's actually completely valid for the lore. I respect it. That is a road. We are waiting for it to drop. We've only been here a few minutes and there's already been magic. Look, my shirt is different now. <laughs> I got, uh, I got into the spirit. I'm apparently a Quidditch captain. We're walking. Now we're all decked out. There's a uh, chanting coming from someplace. And it's time to have fun. Walking through Susie Landing. That's a tree, but it's real, so that don't is, worry about it. That is a great mouse. That is, oh, look at the tree expert over here. <laughs> the small big switch is set to big. Oh, look, it's my ice cream shop. Hop on pop ice cream. Poseidon's arm. And the best theme park restaurant, Mythos. Welcome to Hogsmeade. Please respect the spell limits. Squish. We have arrived at the at the Harry Potter. There's snow, despite it being ridiculously hot. And you know how they do that, right? Okay. It's magic. Which also means they don't have to explain it. Yeah. 
you know something crazy? No. With the camera, I can actually see better than with my eyes. <laughs> like the beans back there for each of the houses, I couldn't see what color they were, but on the camera I could. This here, my friends, is a billy book, indigenous to Australia. A single sting causes dizziness and levitation. Allow me to give you an example. Who would like to join me in my picture for a demonstration? Potter, Potter. Basket down to the lounge. That excrescence. You can do me make a substitute on the silver in which he's matched today. You're mad, Salazar. Just watch. I'll wager young Mr. Potter and Gryffindor be slithering today. Ha! Gryffindor doesn't stand a chance. Shh! Honestly, all of you. We have guests. What are all these muggles doing at Hogwarts anyway? I expect this is Dumbledore's doing. Oh, it's Dramledore. <laughs> Oh, 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 it's, it's Dorval Dasher. There comes a time when all of It's, it's Dorval Dasher. Um, excuse me, we reckon we should go on here. Just stay much longer and you'll find yourself listening to Professor Bill's go on about history of Hogwarts. Wait, you should be pointing out that it's rather fascinating, son. One look I highly recommend, which is an absolutely riveting piece, is the silver bag shot of Hogwarts. So to personally, I don't even know what that ride was called. Put it on the screen here, but it was fun. It tilt you around. There was a dragon. Uh, there was Quidditch. It's kind of a combination of like a travel through ride and like a Soren type motion simulator. Good stuff. Several song-filled hours later. The opening little run of Harry Potter took a bit more out of us than we expected it to. Uh, we went back to the hotel, got some sleep. Now, uh, not gonna lie, things got a little bit mixed up and turned around, but we figured it out. Now we're at the other one. The first one, but who's counting? Welcome to Universal Studios Orlando. It's the night bus. Stop, man. We're, we're, it's, a, it's a Simpsons. We're just walking through. We're not, uh, we're not. Actually, doing Simpsons stuff right now. There's Moe's. There's trees. There's Moe's. We are headed over to uh, Transformers, to robots, to disguise, to uh, you know, to that, to that sort of thing. It's Krusty Burger right there. Just me and Squish hanging out at this particular point. We kind of uh, splintered off into our little sub-factions as it were. I know we're meeting back up at Hogsmeade, but I don't, I don't believe we have any specific dinner plans tonight from what I heard discussed. So we'll see what happens. Chips? Chimkin. Chimkin chips. Being eaten by a chimp. I don't know what it is, but I know it's metallic. Your human species is small, slow, weak, 
lacking properly integrated weapon systems and, militarily speaking, colossally mismatched against our enemy. Why don't humans come with bodily integrated weapon systems? Long the design, I think. And, and, I mean, besides these guns. They do not play fair. They cannot even You know what other uh, weapons we come with? These. All he wants is that all spark, so he can turn every gizmo and gadget on Earth into a lethal Decepticon hospital. Accelerate, stop, spin, climb, and drop. The ambush was just a diversion. He's already inside. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Squish, guess what? First of all, the, the scratch on the camera is making the lights all streaky, but guess what? It's time to make up our battle glasses. What about the recruits? Battle glasses, no marble sound. Battle glasses are removed from the nest facility. So they get over while I finish prep. I'm counting on you. I guess so is Earth. Evac out for now. Glass up, recruit. Actually, I don't, yeah, we're not supposed to put them on yet. We transformed. We didn't exactly protect the Allspark. We kind of shoved it right into Megatron's chest, but there was a happy ending, so yay. You've written that before. What are your thoughts? He's always useful. Let me give you some useful thoughts. Pretty good. Pretty, like, that was fun. We have technically speaking kind of ridden the same ride twice now because uh hogwarts and transformers are very similar in terms of ride mechanics i was just saying uh we've basically ridden the same ride twice today and there's a lot more that's <laughs> motion simulators They're all fun. motion okay so we're gonna go find out something else to do something else <laughs> ride's no longer here say thank you thank you so we were thinking about riding Jimmy Fallon, but I don't know if we have time. Um, well, like with Bruce the shark, um, there are some ride artifacts. Kind of. The point. I love this. What? Explain to me the point of that. Why is it the entrance to the ride over here? <laughs> Can't complain about being sent back and forth through AC. Look at the, oh, look at the classic camera. Gonna... Oh, the stairs. Squish, quit staring at me. <laughs> oh. You know what? <laughs> Shut your uh, whippersnapper mouth. <laughs> whippersnapper mouth. <laughs> this is very okay. Yay! No fear, y'all. The natural fear of man as a predator is gone from this creature. It does have orange eyes, though, so I'm a fan. What does he have fear? He's a pigeon. I mean, all critters have predators. Not government drones. How do you know? I'm kidding. Lou R. Wasserman, Chairman Emeritus, MCA, Universal Studios, March 22, 1913, June 3, 2002. Lou Wasserman was one of the most highly regarded figures in the entertainment industry. For decades, he had guided the course of film, television, music, and recreation, as well as the worlds of politics and philanthropy. During his career, he built MCA, later renamed Universal Studios, into a preeminent entertainment company and simultaneously transformed the industry through his innovation, creativity, and vision. In other words, the Walt Disney of Universal Studios. Ride this one with your family. Nine, ten, 
God is my Ravenclaw wit and your Hufflepuff tenacity. I was going to say Badger Crackhead energy, but okay. You're what now? Badger Crackhead energy. That's fair. That is absolutely valid. The train's here. I like the station. Do you know what she's talking about? Express. It is a ride that is also a transportation. We have ridden that train. And now, where are we? Universal. More specifically. Next to a train. Thank you. We are at Islands of Adventure in the Harry Potter place of Hogwarts. We were going to gather back up together and ride um, Hagrid's together and then the parks close at seven and we'd be out for the day um the wait on the train was longer than we expected we boarded the train last out of our group and it is now 6 51 and the parks closed at seven we just got here so um but as it turns out the groups that rode the train earlier got to hagrid's and the line was still too long so um that's not happening today. <laughs> Let me not fall down the stairs while vlogging. Squish and I were talking about going down to, yes, of course. We were also talking about going down to the resort pool. 
when we get back. Yeah. Another one? I mean, it's. I don't like napping this late in the day. Really, I would more see it as the pool being a chance to wake up a little. Um, we are going to extend that offer to our other friends when we meet up with them, see how they feel about it, and uh, go from there. You know what? The irony of, and I'm going to be completely real with both you and the audience, the irony of as you say that, spot right behind the arch of my left foot just started to hurt. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not old. Ow. Ow. Really, I thought my back was going to be more of a problem, but it only seems to lock up when I'm standing still for a long time. If I'm walking, it's not so bad. Just about nine o'clock on the East Coast. And it's been a day. And that day is not yet over. We are going to be headed down to the pool shortly. That will be fun. I'm a little tired, but the pool will reinvigorate and wake up and etc. I'm having a struggle with all of my head body hair right now. We did Transformers. We did Jimmy Fallon. Um, we were gonna ride Fast and Furious, but then we got the impression that the train line was longer than we thought, which it was. Um, <laughs> we did end up riding the train over to Islands of Adventure, but that was just to meet up with everybody as we walked out. Then we went to City Walk and went to the Burger King Whopper Bar. Which, honestly, to me, unless I was missing something, wasn't really anything special. Um, I got a Bacon King. It was good. It was more expensive than you get at other places, but that's because we're here. So there was that. And now, like I said, we're getting ready to go swimming. Mm. Water might be good for my foot. My left foot is starting to hurt as Squish walks back in. Hi, Squish. Say hi to America, or at least whoever knows me. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> anyway, we're not gonna let him do that. <laughs> um, I was talking about how my foot hurts. <laughs> it is the spot on my left foot. It is the spot where my foot meets my leg. Right before the arch and everything. There's a spot that is ouchies. <laughs> um, Harry let me have a couple of pain pills and we'll suck that and we'll get it done. Powerhouse excitement. Why my thumb looks so red? What is up with that? Oh, it's the lighting. Okay. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Plans are being discussed about swimming, so I have to go. Just about midnight. Very tired. That's, there's TVs on, why the light is the way it is. We went swimming. It was fun. There's a bar down there with good drinks. I will probably try to avail myself of one at some point. But by, for now, as you can probably tell, I am incredibly tired. So we are calling it a night. Thank you so much for watching another edition of Unmorphed. Like, comment, subscribe. Patreon, coffee, Teespring. And until tomorrow, may the power protect you.